Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Roblox error code zero. So first of all, you need to open up this webpage on your web browser and check Roblox server status. Sometimes it can happen due to server issues. In case you find a temporary outage, wait for some time and try again later. But if you experience no outage here and still encounter this issue, then you need to clear your browser cache. For instance on Chrome, you simply need to hold down Control, Shift, and Delete key on your keyboard. A pop-up window will open up, simply select all time in the box next to time range. Then checkmark these boxes and tap on clear data. Once you're done with it, relaunch your browser and check if it fixes the Roblox error. But if it doesn't, then make sure you're connected to a strong internet connection. Navigate to google.com on your browser and then search for speed test. Here on this page, you need to tap on run speed test. The minimum speed required for Roblox is usually 2 to 3 Mbps, so if it's anywhere near or above this number, that's fast enough. If your internet speed appears to be unreasonably low, then you may need to contact your internet service provider for help. Check if it fixes the Roblox error. But if it doesn't, then you need to search for settings in the search bar at the bottom, and then click on the settings option right over here to open up the settings panel. From here, click on apps, then click on installed apps and then scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find Roblox. Now click on this three dot icon right next to Roblox and select advanced options from the drop down menu. Once you're on this screen, you need to scroll down to the reset section and over here, you need to first click on this repair button and then go back and launch the game to check if it fixes the issue. In case if the issue still persists, you need to head back to this page again and click on Reset. And then after resetting the game, you need to open up the Microsoft Store on your system, and then search for Roblox. Once you're on this page, you'll see an Update button instead of this Play button right over here. Click on that Update button to make sure you're running the latest version of the Roblox game. Once you're done updating the game, check if it fixes the issue. But in case if it doesn't, then you need to again head back to the settings page. From here, click on apps, then click on installed apps. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find Roblox. Now click on this three dot icon right next to Roblox and select advanced options from the drop down menu. Once you're on this screen, you need to make sure that this power optimization option is set to always. Hopefully, this will fix the issue. But if it still doesn't work, then you need to reboot your system. Chances are, a simple reboot might just do the trick. First, close all the programs running on your system and then click on the Windows key on your keyboard. Then over here, click on Power and then from the drop-down menu click on Restart. Hopefully, this will fix the issue. But if it doesn't, then you need to make sure you're running the latest version of the app. Open up Play Store app on your device, and then tap on the search icon at the top of the screen. Then search for the app, and if you see this update button right next to the app name, simply tap on it to make sure you're running the latest version of the app. But if you still encounter this issue, then you need to clear app cache. Go to your device settings, and then scroll all the way down to apps, and tap on it. From here, search for the app, and then tap on it. Once you're on this screen, you need to scroll down and tap on storage, and then tap on clear cache. Clearing app cache should fix the issue, but if it doesn't, then you need to completely reinstall the app. Follow the on-screen instructions to navigate all the way to this app page. Once you're on this screen, you need to tap uninstall at the bottom, and then tap OK to confirm. Once it's uninstalled, simply head back to the Play Store app, and then search for the app in the search bar at the top. Over here, click on this button, right next to the app name to install it back on your device. Well, that's how you fix Roblox error code zero. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up to see more videos like this and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.